Hey folks, it's the 21st of December 2019. Um, we're just out on a stroll. It's a nice mild day today. It's about zero. Um, and as you can see, we're just up from the house there. And I just wanted to show you something that we have found. We know we have a lot of deer around the property. But if I take you down here, and we have a nice deer print, which is fresh, probably from this morning. And it's a big white tailed buck. And the reason we can tell it's a buck is because from the main print here, there are also two indentations behind the main print. Now with a doe, that is not there. So we know that this is a buck. And again, that one's actually easier to see. You can see the main toes and then the two imprints at the back. So a big buck at some point this morning has come through the property just at the top end of the garden there which is good news for us for next year. Hopefully he sticks around. And we'll carry on with our walk. Okay, so we've just walked down the little road that's to next of our property. Um, and we're just gonna head off into the lower end of our property now. As you can see, Lance is just heading off there. Um, and we are coming in here. This is my main area where I put rabbit or hair traps out and we're actually coming in today just to remove them they haven't been out um, for very long um, and although i did harvest a hare yesterday we have noticed there's not a great deal of tracks around here um, which would tell us that the numbers are lower this year um, and although we do hunt on our property and you know take wild game we also like to conserve that game and when we know the numbers are low we will just not hunt that particular animal and in this case that snowshoe hare. So we're just walking through and I'll hopefully won't slip because it's a little icy. Come on girls, come through. So when I set a trap I always mark it with some hunting tape and that just shows me where it is and as you can see there's another one this is actually not a trap that I set at the moment but we're coming to one that is right now um, just looking around that's our main trail up our second trail that goes to a different area of the forest there just isn't any tracks around so I'm just gonna take a few minutes just to take this one away and I will get back to you. So I was just about to remove this trap out of the way um, and I actually noticed just how close this actually was but a grouse, as you can see the little grouse footprints there, have actually gone and although we're not using these, these uh, traps here for grouse the grass has actually passed right through next door, come through this little branch here. Now, it's very rare for it to happen, but I do know somebody that's actually caught a grouse in a rabbit trap. So that's actually quite crazy and unique to see. He's gone all the way through there. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this and just really disable it so nothing can go in there it's safe nothing can go things can go either side of it now and then we'll move on and we will uh, head off down and do the the ones that we have down here and as i say this is our lower end trap uh, track and these are squirrel prints we seem to have an abundance of squirrels here this year more so than any other year but um, they're small, so we don't really bother going for them. So we'll just head off down. Oh, there's a squirrel gone through there. And this is the lower end of our forest. It actually does go back further um, through that way. And again here, as you can see, we've had some grouse crisscross. This is the first time I've actually seen grouse prints down this end this year. Um, because really we haven't had much snow. So we'll just carry on walking down here until we get to the next set. And I'll just turn off for a minute. So 
so we've just done the last set, so we're all good. And what were you doing, Maya? Eating stuff. Eating so go on then. Are you going to do it? Go on then. Holy budgies. Yes, that's crazy. Obviously there isn't anything in the snow here. It's reasonably uh, safe to do that. So we're all safe now. And we'll probably head back up maybe to the top trail. This trail carries on further down and eventually cuts up past. But uh, yeah, so they're going to be cold beats. So we'll just uh, carry on back up the way we came and we'll go and take a walk up to the other trail. So we've just got up to the top of the second trail there and we're just going to head up through up the this is the main forest trail that we use and I'll just bring you along with us it's so pretty in here <laughs> and obviously all the time I'm walking I'm looking for tracks there may have been a cat go through there um, we're always looking for tracks of critters or something around and there's some squirrel tracks there and there and like I say we do seem to have an abundance of squirrels um, on the property but they're so small that we don't really bother with them guys so we're just going to carry on walking up here and then when we get up a little further, I'll bring you back. So I've just come off the main path because I have noticed why there may be a lack of hair around here. And I'll just bring you down through. And that, and that, and that, and that heading off in that direction is a bobcat. And that will explain why there is a lack of hair and probably grouse in the area right now. We had this problem last year. Um, I did lose a couple of hairs to bobcats. They were just taken out of the trap. But, you know, we're in the wilderness, we're in the wild. And that's what happens. You know, you win some and you lose some. But it's nice that we have such an abundance of wildlife around here. Interesting to see what there is, especially when it snows, because, you know, when it doesn't snow, you don't see the prints. And although you suspect there are things in here, um, you just don't see them, and it's nice to see. And here's some more little prints there and there. You know, there's an awful lot of critters around We've just come to this little thicket and I did notice that there are actually some um, very small hair tracks here. Um, obviously the two back feet and the two front feet and it's hopped off in that direction somewhere. Um, I'm not going to bother putting any traps out for this guy um, because the numbers again are low in the forest or would appear to be. I mean I haven't gone through everywhere down here but I know that the numbers are low so we'll leave them be. This is obviously a very busy area for squirrels and um, there are squirrel tracks just all over littering the floor and the reason why is that they're actually eating the pine nuts or oh and all the little seeds are just scattered all over the snow and there's also bird tracks in here too see the little birdie prints so they're eating too and there's just literally tracks scattered all over and there's some more birds so there's lots of food in this area and I don't know if he's still around I think he's gone. but I think we may have scared him away but there was a squirrel up there and there is no noise, so he's... Oh, there he is, he's on the tree. Try 
and find them again now. He's very quiet. Yeah. It's hard to catch him. Anyway, folks, it's uh, kind of hard to catch him, so he's very quick and he's decided to say goodbye. Right, we're at the top of the hill and we've come from that direction. And this is always one of my most favourite parts of our forest. And this is our little junction. So we have, and I'll just try and zoom you out. So that's a third trail and that leads down to the bottom trail where we were er earlier. So this bit in the snow is just always really, really pretty. So we'll just have a little wander along here. This actually goes back to the house. And it's a nice sunny, beautiful, sunny Nova Scotia day today. It was um, a little cold on the road walking down, but it's not too bad at all. Now in the forest it's reasonably warm. I wouldn't say it's roasting, you need a thick coat on. Um, it's a little bit icy around here, so we'll try not to fall over. But this is just such a beautiful little place. And we'll just duck down through the little canopy there. And this little path opens up to another area. I just really like this little stretch. And we get the odd grouse here as well. Um, just oh, don't fall. And as you can see, just opens up into the sun. And we used to have a hunting stand up on the tree that's actually just ahead of us. Um, and although we do have deer crisscrossing the property, um, it never really yielded anything. Our luck has always been at the bottom end of the property. So we're just going to carry on now till we get through and we will be back home. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our little walk and we will see you on the next video. Bye for now.